Anita Brito is now joining us live from Mumbai on this story. Anita, the wedding festivities have truly begun. First, let's begin with what the schedule really looks like because there's a lot of buzz around when this wedding will take place. There have been a lot of speculations. I'm throwing straight across to you in terms of what you're picking up from Mumbai, Anita. This is the wedding of the year, actually Bollywood's biggest wed uh, wedding. And especially for Kapoor Khandan, this is a very special wedding because uh, he's the only uh, the only son now in the family who's yet to get married and is in just a couple of hours uh, all the functions uh, will begin so the puja which was supposed to happen at 12 uh, that's just got concluded and uh, we saw Neetu Kapoor and family Ridhima uh, leaving the Vastu venue and it is ex they are expected to be back uh, by afternoon for the other rituals that's uh, going to take place the pre-wedding festivities like Haldi, Mendi and Sangeet uh, are expected to take place at Vastu there's a tight security out here outside uh, the building um, they have made sure that no one no one apart from the family friends uh, can enter the building uh, there are cops there are barricades put up uh, at the same time people are super super happy to see their favorite couple uh, to you know there are fans who are waiting to see the favorite couple tying the knot uh, we saw F but family were the first family to arrive for the puja in the morning today uh, followed by Neetu Kapoor, Babita Kapoor, Na Natasha Han uh, Nanda. They all were spotted entering the house and soon after the puja got over, they all left. Uh, it is said that they might come back or they might head to Chembur. It's not clear yet. Uh, it is also said that the wedding, uh, the D-Day for Ranbir and Alia is going to take place tomorrow. Uh, That's 14th of April. Um, as you can see, there's tight security. The lights are up. Uh, uh, the Kapoor Khandan has made sure the, la the lighting is up from uh, Krishna Raj to Vastu. The entire street is lit up and it looks magical and beautiful. Absolutely, looking magical and uh, beautiful right there. Uh, Anita, there's been a lot of speculation in terms of where the wedding reception is going to take place, in terms of where the feras also are going to take place. Uh, do we have any more information and inside scoop on that front too? Uh, so yes, so it is uh, uh, as for the sources, the wedding is supposed to take place at Vastu. They have uh, taken the entire 11th floor where the decorations have been going on. So Ran uh, Ranbir and Alia stay in the same building but different floors. However, the sources are saying that 11th floor has also been booked at uh, this residence and even a banquet hall is booked um, where all the other f uh, f uh, functions are supposed to be taking place. But the fairas are set to be taking place on the 11th floor. Uh, you can see some banana leaves also being you know placed near the balcony so it looks like that place is also decorated well for the functions um, uh, it is also reported that uh, mostly the, uh, the other functions like this, uh, the Sangeet might take place, uh, place at RK studio that's in Chembo that's a family studio for uh, the Kapoor families it's a very small uh, knit affair for Ranbir and Alia though they are uh, big names in Bollywood industry but however they have chosen to have this wedding a very small affair with only friends and families attending uh, we are just waiting for few more friends and families to arrive post one o'clock when all the functions and uh, festivities will begin all right uh, leave it at that Anita Brito getting us all those details right there it is the wedding of the year that is on everyone's mind Ranbir Kapoor and Alia Bhatt are gearing up for their wedding